I wonder if anybody's ever upgraded turbos I don't before know, in Raptor. They are pretty small, but. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the original Gun Squad garage, and today we're finally gonna get started on working on our brand new build, the 2019 Ford F-150 Raptor here. And as you guys seen in the previous video, all we did was just a basic walk around and looked at all the visual damages. And now we're gonna start digging into this thing, hitting it with some ugga duggas and some tools and maybe start digging in and see if we might've missed anything, dude. Yes, sir, man. Man, this is the most exciting part right now. But you know what? Before we do any type of actual like ripping stuff apart, we gotta give this thing a nice wash, dude, man. Just like original times, man. That's exactly what we do. We clean it from the interior and the exterior. That way we see what needs to get painted, what needs to just uh, stay original. You yeah, know, just a stuff, little dude. visual inspection of the paint job because as of right now, this fender looks really good along with the hood and these plastic pieces here, and we possibly will not even paint those. We may just do a little blend or something else, dude. Exactly, so that's what we're gonna get started with, but before we start washing, I think we're gonna fire this sucker up and drive it for the very first time, although it has a broken axle shaft out the back, dude. It got a missing axle missing. shaft, dude. Oh my goodness, dude, but I think if we pop it into 4x4, four four, maybe it'll like pull itself yeah, up Yeah, it or should. It should dude. drive. Hopefully, this is the first time we're ever gonna smack this thing into drive. All we did was smack it into neutral just to get it off the trailer exactly, but dude. we're gonna see if it drives man let's go ahead <laughs> fire the sucker up drive it onto this concrete and probably start washing this thing Son, I almost forgot how bad this damage dude, was. For dude. some reason, I thought we still had this thing screwed onto the hub. I didn't know this thing was completely ripped off. Look at that. The what? hub is still on the wheel, man. Dude, that is crazy. <laughs> and look at the rotor right here. Basically just cracked off of the hub. Dude, just snapped clean in the middle right there. But dude, luckily the axle still looks kind of straight like by the eye, but who knows? It could be a little bit off. But the main thing that got bent was these leaf springs. I think that's what saved the axle from getting completely dude, bent up. Yeah, you know so that's I mean? actually a good thing that just the leaf springs got bent and not the whole entire housing because I'm sure that housing is super pricey, dude, dude. I'm sure the whole entire axle is super pricey, but we're just gonna go ahead and buy an axle shaft right here with the hub, possibly a new brake system right here, because as you can tell, all this stuff probably got all messed up and ripped up. Of course, a new rotor. But dude, one thing I wanna mention is check out these dude, shocks, Exactly, <laughs> forget about all the damages. This right here makes up for all of that, dude. dude. look at that live valve. I'm sure this thing can like do some kind of electronic computer readings or something like that, probably switch modes or probably just, it, 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 since it's how high you jump this dude, thing, man. I think you can adjust it just based on how high you want to jump that day, dude. Dude, that is crazy right there. But luckily, I mean, hopefully they look pretty good right now. I don't see really any damages other than this thing probably a little bit bent that we're going to have to straighten out and hit the alignment rack and stuff like that. But who knows? Maybe we can upgrade those. You dude, never know, what dude. What about a coilover conversion, dude? Dude, that'd be sick. Like what we did on the Jeep Rubicon, dude. The Jeep in the front of the GMC oh, right there. Dude, oh, that my would be goodness. Sick, that'd be but... sick. But anyways, 4x4 four four worked. Dude, 4x4 four four worked. We were able to actually get it onto this uh, pavement using the skids here of course luckily we had that thing because exactly. there would have been no other way Dude, man that's like to <laughs> save the day right there i mean we could have just like dragged it on over but that would have did too much more damage to this yeah, thing so Dude. i mean we are good we are almost ready to go ahead and just wash this entire thing up and uh we're probably just gonna go ahead and wash the back of this yeah. bed out as well i mean although but, we're probably gonna pop this whole entire bed off what do you yeah, think we're Dude? probably gonna rip this whole entire bed off um the tailgate on the other hand it does have a little bit of no. damage we might be able to save this thing but who knows we may find a good Dang. deal like 
like on a used bed with a tailgate. You know yeah, what I mean? Hopefully we can find one with a tailgate and all. But dude, I love how this whole entire rear end, dude, overall, this is why I like this truck. It looks good from the front to the back to the side everywhere, dude. dude. Everywhere because everything is just like super aggressive. Like just the tail light alone, as you can see, this stuff is like just protruding. The Ford emblem is like popping out three different steps. The F-150 emblem, just all types of stuff it going like, on. It man. like well, it just like pops out and wow. pops you in the eye almost. Dude, that's you know why they I mean? call it the raptor, you know <laughs> what I mean? But anyways, the tailgate still functions. One thing I really like is Ford still use this little thing, you know what it, I mean? Dude. You got your grab handle right there, and dude, bam, you're, you're up in no go, time. Dude. This is awesome, and one thing I did notice uh, too is there is these drilled out holes right here, and this guy actually, that? he actually had, you see those indention? He actually had one of those camper top covers, oh, which my goodness, would dude. look really good, painted the same color as the Raptor, maybe a roof rack with like some KC lights or oh, something like dude. that, man. I'm not a big fan of those camper tops, but on this truck, I think it would look perfect, dude. dude. it would look super cool, especially with like if you tint the windows the same color and stuff like that, and you lift this thing, put some bigger wheels and tires and all types of stuff. Dude, man. I just noticed this. I'm so happy that this sucker didn't break this rear yeah, glass, dude, so right there. So. Hopefully we can save this thing, like cut it out nicely. Easy stuff right there. We're just gonna go ahead and probably just set up the pressure washer 100%, throw the foam gun on it, and just foam this entire thing out. My goodness, dude, this thing cleaned up. Dude, that dude. paint job is like a mirror right there, man. Either that comes from the factory like that or the previous owner really took care of this, probably got it buffed, waxed, or something, dude. Dude, look at that, dude. We're gonna have to replicate this when we go to paint it because that is flawless right there. Look at that, dude. Dude, barely any orange peel. I mean, there is some orange peel, but you know what? That looks super good for like a factory paint dude, job right there. Look man. at that thing, dude. It looks practically brand new from this corner right here, but then when we walk around to this corner, this it's corner just or it still looks corner. good, dude. It still looks good, destroyed. Fun fact, you cannot really wash this damage out. I tried as hard as I could. I really tried to get that dude. door out. It would not go, so. I Googled that, so Google is lying, dude. Yeah, buffing well, damage out is a big lie, man. We done <laughs> tried all that, but you know what? It looks really good clean, and there's a few things that I kind of noticed while I was actually wiping this thing out. I didn't really notice this damage. I guess I just overlooked it, but look at that, man. So there is some damage oh. on this little pillar here, and I believe this is aluminum, so we may end up replacing placing like this whole entire section here, just depending on how or where you can splice this thing in because it is damaged right here too. Yeah, exactly. We're just gonna go to the dealership and see if we can buy like sections. If we can buy sections, we'll just replace it in sections. Yes, but if sir. it comes down to it, we'll replace the whole entire piece, yes, dude. Yes, sir, because this is aluminum. So you probably, if you, you really can't just like do little pieces like a metal, you know, you just weld it in, grind it and sand it and stuff yeah. like that. But you know what, man? This thing is just, just an absolute beast, Hold up, man. before we move away from this front end, hit that key, I wanna see but all the lights lights work and all that Check stuff. Check it out, man. Dang. Dude, so those amber lights look way look better in person. That. And the little amber right there, man. Dude, dude that is clean. That is dude. sick. Will the rem does that have remote start yeah, on it? Yeah, it dude? does, man. So you go ahead and lock it. Let's see if it'll start up. Will it start? Man, I 
Look, it ain't nothing, man. Like, it's still ready to go, man. Dude, this thing is ready to rip dude, at all times, that, that dude. That sounds super good. And one more thing that I noticed. Look at this, man. Did you even see that? I didn't even see that little front-facing hey, camera, this man. this is why you want to wash your vehicles before you get started on it. Because you'll find the front camera on it, dude. dude. you'll find all <laughs> types of stuff. Like, when you're wiping it down, like, I didn't even notice that. I just, just like, it's like a black piece blends dude, in that and is all that cool. Stuff, that, actually, I noticed that when I was driving in 4x4. Like, dude, the front camera is beautiful, dude. Dude, I bet, dude. So, this thing is basically just 100 100 complete on the outside right now dude. <laughs> wash wise 100 wash, wash. wash well go ahead and hit that the key one more time i want to show them the tail lights dude all right so unlock right there the tail lights look, look super that, good dude. i don't know if that's led or something just the way that looks it looks super oh look, look at the leds, LEDs up, up there. there dude let's go ahead and hear the exhaust back here too let's do it we're gonna start that joint all right, dude. here it goes oh my goodness turn that thing back off dude <laughs> got a little rumble to it but dude i wonder if you can get like a full exhaust like dude I, I don't even know how these things sound like with the exhaust never heard one dude, dude never did because this is twin turbo i think it's gonna sound super sick with some charge pipes and a full exhaust wait till we get to that dude wait till we get to that i mean they're gonna have to decide on what kind of exhaust we need to get what kind of charge pipes and all that good stuff running boards and everything man. yeah definitely let's hop inside one of my favorite features when you open this is what lights up on the screen let me see if i can catch this right quick because sometimes it will sometimes it won't look at that oh the raptor Ford performance, dude, that is so sick. The dash is a lot different than the F450 over here. It's like, it's got like red accents, more sporty and all that good stuff. But that is super sick right there, dude, that wrapper, dude. Super clean, and it has like those little honeycomb things that like transfer to the seat right here. You see all that honeycomb yeah. like design, which looks really dude, cool. Dude, that is dude. so sick right there. But anyways, the interior is not too much of a mess, but we're still gonna shine that sucker up, oh, ain't yeah, we, dude? we want it 100% clean just to see. Maybe this interior has a little bit of damage to it as well. You never know, exactly. dude. Exactly. So let's just go ahead, uh, pull some stuff out of there and just start detailing, dude. Let's do it. That's like it was stuck, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. What was that? Was it like the metal, like, yeah, preventing it? Yeah, this whole entire little jam right here basically just creased it in, but ain't no problem that you are powerful, dude. Right, got that sucker <laughs> open. Now we got to try to get that front door open oh, right there, dude. Oh, dude, this door right here, I don't know, man. This don't have a handle. <laughs> hey, that thing got a handle inside, dude. dude. look how minty fresh this dude, side dude, is, dude. Did anybody even sit in here, dude? Dude, I don't think so. Look at that. I'm... Single man on this right here. Exactly, dude. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That is so sick, dude. I'm still in shock with all the carbon in here but i wish there was more dude they definitely wish there was more like these little things right here i don't really like that color and they're kind of rough feeling man i wonder if somebody can make that i wonder if somebody makes that or something let me less, see dude. wait let's actually let's just go searching through like the center console and yeah. stuff. you know you can always find some cool stuff i mean you just got this little thing in here dude, dude. this sucker is just empty over dude, ain't nothing in there. this thing out man nothing easily there. one thing i did find though look at this when i lifted up the seat let me see what you found there what'd you find there's a little bag right here dude uh, a little duffel bag i wonder if this is like tools or something dude, dude that's a ford edition bag dude go ahead and crack roadside assistance that's what fords Ooh. need every time you're in a ford you need oh, your little man. tool bag don't say <laughs> that <laughs> we haven't got stranded by a ford yet ne so. never never so. have let's see what, what dang son you got yourself a reflective jacket dude, keep that you wear that for like a some sort of uh, dude some sort of a party dude, event or something e, you can even throw on an emergency <laughs> rain poncho that way whenever you're uh stuck on the side of the road you put this sucker on change your tire or something out. i wonder if that all comes from ford Ford like that or something. Hey, or just, Ford even gives you zip ties. Hey, they man. know. They know a man, man. <laughs> that's what I'm gloves talking about. Gloves right here. What is this? A, a glow, glow stick? stick helps. You know, stop. You know, you put that <laughs> out right there. You got yourself a what is this? A first right aid here? kit. Survival wrap, man. You. They're just a <laughs> lot, dude. Look at that. Some cones. Some, uh, some triangles. Dude. You got jumper cables. That is awesome. You got yourself right some there. gojo towels. You got a tire gauge, a little bungee, bungee cord. cord. That is cool. A little roll of duct tape. Duct -tape. Man, dude, that's all you heck? honestly, that's all they should have put. That's all provided. they should have put in here is just one roll of duct tape. You can use this for a poncho, to, uh, a jumper cord, cables, a reflective thing. You can use this for all, dude. but that is crazy. That was the first time I ever seen something like that. Dude. Oh, I hope I didn't just break something, but that's a power inverter. <laughs> yeah, power inverter for these little DC things right here, plugins and stuff like that, man. But that, that's got to be one of the coolest things ever, right here. That dude. is pretty 
it ain't cool. Even got some electrical tape. tape. That's what we needed. But man, look how cool that looks right there, dude. Dude, that looks super cool. And it's it's kind of tinted. Don't you see that? Yeah, I it wonder is if the if they come tinted like that. Hmm, you know I'm I mean? pretty sure dude, all the windows are tinted. I love the the darkness of them yeah. too. Look at that, dude. You can't you can hardly see dude, through. It looks really good. It kind of like flows with the whole theme. You know, the black black theme and stuff like yes, that. Sir. But anyways, let's just go ahead clean all this stuff out. Bring the vacuum in. One more thing, you got a whistle, man. Dude. You got a whistle. That's the ultimate That's tool it. bag right hey, there. Hey, if you were selling me this truck from the dealership and you said it came with a whistle hey this is the first thing you, you gotta to show me is like you're getting that truck out there this is what it comes with come right with a rock wall ford bag right there yes, everything sir. you need in it <laughs> survival kit but anyways let's get this sucker clean dude let's do it Son, this sucker is minty fresh. Dude, we dude. barely even had to waste time cleaning this thing, man. Dude, was... we literally over on that side. I just flew over it, man. I didn't dude. even have to touch that barely. Dude, there dude. was no dirt in here. I don't think anybody ever even sat in this seat. There's like no creases on the edges or anything, man. Dude. I mean, it does have three thousand miles. Three thousand miles, man. no driver time at all, man. But you know what? We're gonna probably knock that up to like thirty thousand miles. Dude, dude, definitely gonna <laughs> ride this truck until some high miles because this, I believe, is probably the most reliable like Ford truck or any truck out there. This you know this is I mean? the number one selling truck in America, not the Raptor, the F-150. Yeah, the F-150, but a lot of these F-150s run that twin turbo V6. Oh, I'm leaning on it right <laughs> I was here, like, dude. what the heck? What kind of sorcery is that, Yeah, dude? but a lot of these for new Fords now run this twin turbo V6 contraption over there because it's really reliable, I think. Dude, I don't know nothing, much heard, about it. I heard a lot about it. Like, I hear people saying, like, they're just boosting all day, and it's just so quick, dude. dude I know. That's what I heard. The V8, the, I'm not going to lie, is a nice big engine. It's the same engine as they put in the Mustang, that 5 point no, I love that engine all day long, but we're about to test out a twin turbo we, V6, man. Exactly. We got to have some sort of boost. If we got a V8, we'd supercharge dude, it, dude. what if they actually put this twin turbo setup in a Ford Mustang? That oh, would be sick, my goodness, dude. dude. That's, that'd be, I wonder if they actually have that. Do they? I don't know, but dude, I wonder if anybody tried swapping that into a Mustang. Dude. I know the, the 5.0 is awesome, but you know what? That would be just something totally that'd different, That'd be epic. Dude. But anyways, moving along this interior here. First off, we noticed something new about the 4x4, uh, dude. dude. Look at that. 4A. What is is that there's two high four high and four low just like your normal four truck but i've never seen four a i don't know what that is, is that like of all time four by four or like automatic four by four what? or something like dude, that what if that's all wheel drive dude what, what if it like whenever you have two wheel drive and say you like driving in some snow and it like kind of catches it'll probably cut on four by four kind of weird i don't know exactly let us know what that is because that's the first time i've ever dude, seen that definitely dude. we're definitely going to be putting that four by four to the test but as far as this steering wheel goes right here pretty cool steering wheel was super filthy probably from the tow truck driver because they don't care do they they get their it hands was like all over greasy that. glove prints on there and stuff like that. They're just probably thinking this thing's going to a scrap pile or it's, something like man, that. What? They don't know people out there fix stuff like this. This man. is this a golden is, nugget, this dude. This thing is still mint, dude. Hey, but what if we got like a carbon steering wheel right here, dude? dude? That would look sick or have like this stuff right here in carbon or something like and that. Even the paddle shifters. That'd Ooh, be pretty sick dude. right there. But this steering wheel already is kind of like a sporty, you know, with that little red stripe at the top. But anyways, one more thing that we noticed. Let's hop, Let's back hop here, in the dude. back, dude. What'd you notice about these dude, steering or these seat belts, dude? dude. I was just so wiping these suckers up and I seen this big old fat buckle. I'm like, what Looks is like that, dude? Out of Star Wars or I was like, why dude? is this so thick? And then I seen this actual belt loop. And I was like, this thing is even thicker. But, dude, this is an airbag, man. What? Dude, how's that? I'm like, dude, that is that even safe right there? That's dude? what I was saying. That thing probably will like blow up right into your like chest. Probably like compresses you. That is crazy. Dude, I would not want to experience this right be, here, dude. That'd, that'd be like the strongest punch to the chest ever right ever, there, dude. dude. I mean, that will probably knock your breath out, man. I almost wish these were blown because I would have loved to see how that sucker works right there. <laughs> 
here, dude. But anyway, speaking of airbags, none of the airbags are blown in this truck, dude. dude. None of them at all. It's kind of surprising the way this truck is beat up. We done mentioned it looks like a cabbage. How is nothing blown? At least a roof airbag or airbag or something. Or at least the seatbelts will lock Not up. None of them are locked up, Dude, man. that is awesome, dude. But I wonder how, like, the damage occurred, though. Like, I'm thinking maybe he drove through a fence because on the front headlight, you want to hop Let's to the hop front Let's hop to the headlight? front, dude. Because this is, like, some sort of weird damage. I'm to investigate. Let's but, dude, investigate, this dude. This actually kind of makes sense right here. Look at the front headlight. As you see oh, those little, yeah. like, stripes and stuff right here, and they move on to here. And then you hop on this side. This is why you want to wash it. Look at that. See all those stripes? Ain't Ooh. that, like, something from, like, a fence? D yeah. You know what I mean? Ooh, a fence, exactly. He ran to a fence, but, like, what this is, is probably this? a fence post. You know, a fence post probably, like, started right here, popped it off. Your normal size fence post on a metal fence is about, like, four foot or something dude, like that. Were you an investigator dude, before, dude? That's about dude? four foot right there, man. This guy clearly probably went through a fence. I don't know. The owner might show up and tell us exactly what happened, but dude, that fence did a lot of damage. Oh, I mean, it ripped out the axle, dude. That right there was the most of it right there. But anyways, dude, so far, everything is just turning out absolutely, absolutely in our favor. I got to say, dude. Yeah, so right now, all we're looking at is a little bit of suspension work or a lot of bit of suspension work, but mainly all body work. You know exactly. I mean? Hopefully, there's no frame damage. It's going to come down to actually taking the bed off and inspecting those frame rails, yeah, dude. Yeah, inspecting that axle and stuff like that. Make sure everything is sitting right and all that good stuff. And the next thing after this is basically just ordering all the parts. Exactly. Man. You know Which today mean? is a Sunday. We're just getting an early start on this truck right here. And I think tomorrow we're going to hop over yeah. to the dealership, dude. Probably go ahead and start ordering all the parts, depending on how much this stuff is. Because I would really kind of like buy Body some views. used doors the same color as this, Ooh. if possible. That way we don't have to paint the inside. It'll save us a lot of time. And on top of that, it'll save us on painting and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, exactly. You know? We're going to look for some used stuff before we end up buying the new stuff. But anyways, as of right now, I think we're just going to try to park this sucker in a good working place, yeah, right? we're probably going to park it right there, right beside the Viper for now until we get like the axle components. That way we can drive it into the garage. I say you go ahead, probably hop back in there, turn on 4 high or 4A, whatever. I'll connect that skid steer and see if we can park it over there. You found a turbo? You see it back there, dude? Oh man, that's a tiny turbo, dude. Little, little turbos, man. Two of them, right on, right on each header, right that's there, what dude. I'm talking about. I wonder if anybody's ever upgraded turbos I don't before. Know, man. They are pretty small, but you know what small turbos are good for? They're good for picking up boosts like this, dude. What? You know what I mean? Dude. I guess because this truck, you know, kind of like a tow truck. You know what I mean? You, people use it to like haul stuff yeah, around. Yeah, actually, I wonder what the tow capacity on this thing. Because I remember when we were doing construction back in the day, there was a builder that had a brand new Raptor just like this right here, and he was towing like skid dude, steers and all everything types dude. of stuff i mean they do have strong suspension so that's a good thing because you know that upgraded suspension and stuff and then with the twin turbo or he had the older one so i think he had the 5.0 yeah dude. probably i don't remember so, dude. you know i don't know this one may have they may have be the same you know what i mean you yeah know, exactly it know. still has a good uh tow capacity let me tell you that much right there <laughs> i mean we're not gonna be hauling no skid steer that that's for sure but you no, know sir. what like a boat or something like that easily can haul it no problem man exactly yeah but look how we got this engine cleaned up we got it wiped down we ended up pressure washing it as well and dude this thing is fresh as well dude, dude just three thousand miles dude i wonder when they do like the next oil change on the on the ford you know is I'm, it three thousand miles i think like, it's like every five thousand miles if i'm not mistaken dude dude so we're almost due for an oil change you know yeah I mean? exactly yeah it's gonna be here really soon we're definitely gonna do an oil change before we do like the, the legit ripping on this thing yes sir. but also as far as a tune goes i know you could tune these things dude, that'd as well. be awesome definitely probably gonna be the first mods is like a tune charge pot so maybe get a cold, cold air intake air. maybe get a, for sure get an exhaust for oh, this thing you know man. what make blow it sound out. good but i wonder if that's even possible or does it have an internal blow off it probably has an internal oh, wastegate man. or something like that we can't but, get the but i want like better <laughs> charge pipes because these things are kind of weird looking they're like sticking out you know i wonder if they are like sit lower 
with some aftermarket ones just look nice. Some you blue. Know? What if we powder coated the same color or as the just truck, dude? Sprayed them the same color, stuff like that. <laughs> but anyways, you can go ahead and shut this down right quick. I think we're gonna be done because I mean, we really can't just start tearing it apart. We want to get some prices, which, like we said, it's Sunday. Yeah. We're gonna we'll, probably go tomorrow. And yeah, we'll probably go tomorrow. Order everything that we visually see right now. You know, one of the main components, like we said, the Axle. the suspension. So suspension's number one. We'll look for the doors on like eBay or something like that, or some used parts to see if we can find the same colors and stuff like that which that'll all be in the next video yeah for definitely that. that'll all be in the next video but right now dude uh, i mean speaking of working on cars right now i say we go ahead and bring one of the cars that we personally neglected oh man. my goodness there's a couple there's like three of them which one do you want to bring back right now the dude? worst one out of all of them right the now hellcat? the hellcat right now oh, man we have neglected that, that bad boy man it's just sitting back there we did have a few issues that's the reason why it sits around all the time and we don't drive it yeah yet. exactly we're gonna bring it back i guess we're just gonna do a double whammy for you guys dude, let's go ahead dude. and pull it out and show you guys what we're talking about Hellcat engine, I don't know what is, dude, man. Dude, the Trackhawk sounds nothing like dude, that. This dude. thing just sounds way better than the Trackhawk, and I don't know why. I'm guessing because the exhaust link is a little shorter, or who knows, a whole different setup in here because that just sounds killer, dude, man. That just like I don't know what. It like, it's like a ripping sound, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it it's like, like a rip sound waves in the air. It's like pow, it's like pops in your ears and all, dude. dude I love that sound right there, but dude, we got to get this sucker back. And why do we neglect this thing, dude? dude First we neglected off. this thing because right here up front. We got a hood situation that we've mentioned before, but it just kept getting worse. I thought this man. was an airflow situation. This dude. is an airflow situation. <laughs> this is the ram air from the side right here. But yeah, dude, this thing just kept on getting worse in the sun. I mean, the hood is locked right now, so that's how bad it is. You yeah, know what you I mean? might have thought it was open right there, but dude, that this was like an eBay hood. We paid like 500 bucks for it. Never again gonna buy a carbon eBay hood. Dude, ever, never dude. again, unless that sucker is like a Sabon or some uh, or like the the black uh, black ops. Black dude. ops, man. They they got some amazing. It's like, dude, the one that's on the track hawk, dude, what dude? if we get like the one on the track hawk on here, Ooh, dude? that'd be sick, no, but we already got an OEM hood, so yeah, we're just we, gonna go yeah. ahead. And... We already got an OEM hood because I believe it's gonna just look really nice if we just go ahead and paint it black because this thing, man, this thing needs some work, man. Oh As you can goodness. tell, that paint is just seen better days, Filthy, man. Dude. That's exactly what we're about to do is probably give it a quick wash and in the back, what happened to the glass dude, here, in dude? in the back here, I'm guessing whenever it was you that was weed eating the lawn or something <laughs> like that. I was mowing with the big, big machine, big the machine, deer. And it, some rock just shot out and decided Decided to, he wanted to fly through the windshield, and that's what that rock did right exactly. there. Shattered, or the, the rear windshield. Yep, exactly. Shattered that sucker clean in a million pieces right there. It's just being held by tape. We're going to order another one. That shouldn't be an issue, and that's pretty much it, right? Dude, that's pretty much it, but you know what? We're not just going to fix this thing up and just leave it stock. We got something awesome for it. And as you guys know, all the new Hellcats are wide-bodied now. Wide-bodied, you know I mean? dude, and, and that's exactly what we purchased. That's exactly anyway, what we got. So we got a wide-body for this thing, and of course, we want to go ahead and upgrade these uh, wheels as well, man. I don't really like these wheels you know yeah I mean? I mean they're pretty cool it's like muscle they, they were amazing when we first got the car yeah exactly now they kind of all grew like i don't really like grew them, out of style because almost, the new you know? hellcats man they got some awesome dude. wide wheels dude. exactly yeah this is like classic muscle car look right there it looks pretty sick but we're gonna do something probably even better because with that wide body you need wider wheels right yeah, definitely need wider wheels and man this thing is just gonna look completely different i was even taught we were talking debating on what if we change the complete color on this Ooh. car but that would be a lot of work we could honestly we can do a wrap yeah, I think car. that'd be the best. Let's wrap this thing. Drop your comments down below. What color? Wrap it the same color as the Raptor, dude. Dude, Raptor. that'd be crazy. Wrap the Raptor, <laughs> dude. But anyways, yeah, that'd be awesome. Maybe do some cool wrap on it or something like that. Or just, just revive it, first of all, just with a brand yeah. new, like, buff or something like that. Paint job on the hood with a new hood on there. Do the wide body and all that good stuff. But right now, I say we go ahead, bring out the pressure washer, and give this baby some love.
right, so check that out, guys. We got this sucker completely pressure washed, foamed out, and sponged, and I gotta say, we about nearly revived it, dude. dude look at that. I mean, it's not 100%, but dude, that looks good, looks man. Looks good, yep, yeah, exactly. I remember we were buffing the heck out of this thing, but you know what? It's still gonna need a little bit more time, love, and care before it's back to its original shape. But you know what? We're still gonna actually bring in that wide body kit, the wider wheels, dude. It's gonna be completely transformed. The new hood, of course. Dude, we're basically gonna revive this thing and turn it up a little bit, That's man. That's what I'm talking about, dude. I can't wait to get to that. But let us know what you guys think. Should we do a little side project while we're doing the Raptor? A two for one special, dude. dude? A little two for one deal for you guys, dude. But that's gonna probably be all in the next video when we reveal the wide body kit and all that good stuff. But definitely make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything. And if you want an inside scoop before YouTube, definitely give us a follow on Instagram at Goon Squad. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below, and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.